All right, this is going to be a little bit of a hodgepodge random videos here today. I'm working on making some inventory for a craft show I have coming up. And I'm taking all of these random off cuts of scrap wood. Got a bunch of walnut here. And then over on my cart outside the frame, I have a bunch of random exotic woods. And all I'm going to be doing today is prepping blanks for the lathe. So I'm going to go ahead and get a good square end on my pieces here. Just going to kiss off, get that nice and square. Come over to my four inch mark and we'll slice it down. And this is what we're left with. I got a four inch long ice cream scoop blank which will also work for my deer calls and I have a stopper blank left over this is a little bit long but it's a little too short to try to trim it again so we're just gonna leave it and to save the boring process of watching me cut all these individually I'm just gonna make a time lapse so I'll catch y'all guys in a bit All right, so I got almost all my blanks cut up, and some of them I'm not going to cut up because I got all I need already. So uh, next step will be taking these over to the drill press, uh, marking center on them, and getting them ready to have all the holes drilled. The ice cream scoops have, uh, I believe it's a 15, 30 second hole. It's kind of a odd size. Some of these that I had from last time are already drilled but it's just that hole on center goes the whole way through and it's pretty easy doesn't take that long to do so see y'all over there all right so i don't know if y'all can hear it or not but i have my phase converter running in the background my drill press is a three phase powermatic and i'll be using that today it's variable speed has a quick release chuck on it and for the ice cream scoops we're going to be drilling, I'm using a 15 30 second drill bit. And this is a Brad Point bit. And I'm going to start off with a couple of my walnut blanks. I have my jig set up, so the only thing I have to do is swing the table left and right to get enough room to put another blank in and pull it out. So we're going to go ahead and get that in there, bring it over here. And I've already got it centered front to back. So I just need to eyeball left to right. And that looks pretty good right there. And uh, if you're wearing headphones, go ahead and cut the volume down. Because this is going to start squeaking like crazy. And, as you can see, we got a perfectly square, straight drilled hole right through the blank. And, just to point out something here, specifically with this blank, as you see, I still have some of the sap wood left on the blank. Once this gets turned round, that sap wood is going to be a real nice accent on a scoop handle. Pay attention to little things like that because it catches the eye. Not everything needs to be a perfect dark chocolate color like this blank. This right here will only have a taste of sapwood on it further down towards this side. But it's something to make it unique and stand out from all the others. Because if you have them all look like this, it's not going to be any variety. Nothing's going to catch the eye. They'll be pretty, but nothing is going to make it stand out. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start drilling out the rest of these blanks and I'll put this back into the time lapse. So see y'all. All right, now that we got all those uh, ice cream scoop blanks drilled, we're going to go ahead and move on over to some of these bottle stopper blanks I have. Just dropped one of them on the floor. So I got some cherry blanks, just plain cherry. Um, and I also have some of these like random laminated blanks. I'll put it in front of the camera once I pick up this one. So these are actually off cuts from my cutting boards and I hate wasting crap and I can't stand burning these when they're the perfect size for a stopper if you just cut them down. Excuse me. So I'm going to take these and drill these into stoppers and to do that it's just going to be a repeat of the same thing. I'm just going to line this up in the vise and get this flush with the top of the vise and instead of having this set all the way down it's just going to set flush because this is not a through hole it's only about an inch inch and a quarter deep and that's it and again i'm not going for perfect center that doesn't really matter on these i'm just kind of eyeballing it so that's pretty daggone close right there so, fire it up and get these drilled now. And I've already got my depth stop set. So, come on in. And that's it. So, like, what was that? Five seconds to do that? If that took longer to set up the drill bit in the depth stop. So we'll go ahead and get these drilled, and once they're all done, uh, we'll be back. Probably do another time lapse. All right, guys, we just got done drilling all these holes. This is now holier than the Pope. So we got a bunch of different types of wood here. We have a bunch of walnut, some uh, zebra wood, pal uh, shoot, not pal rosa. This is Patagonian rosewood, cherry, purple heart, wenge. And then I have bloodwood, pal rosa, paduk. And then these are some that were left over. I have a few Paduk here, and I have a leftover Purple Heart and a leftover Patagonian Rosewood. So we'll set those to the side. And as far as the bottle stoppers go, I have some cherries, a bunch of walnuts, and then I have some of these left over. These are those Spectre Ply Blanks. I've actually made a few shorts making these into bottle stoppers before. These are really fun to work with. I have made these into ice cream scoops too, but they just don't have the same heft that one of these do. The plywood, I don't know, I guess it's some type of uh, Baltic birch or something like that. I don't think it's pine. It doesn't feel like pine and it doesn't work like pine. But these are some of those laminated blanks that are cut off from cutting boards. And I like doing these in different ways. So I have two like this with the Paduke on top and two like this with the Paduke on the bottom. 
So that variety just kind of sets it apart a little bit, and you can get the same set and have the same color scheme, but have two totally different pieces. So I did the same thing here with these. These are Paduke and Purple Heart. And then you'll actually can't see them that well here. So let me just pan up. All of these blanks right here, I'm not really sure what to do with. Some there on the bottom are right under four inches long. And that's just a little bit too short to do the ice cream scoops with. I have done it before, but I like everything to be uniform. So I might take some of this stuff and turn it into ring holders. And that's what I normally use this red maple here for. I try to have something for every price range at least. And making ring holders is actually a pretty good way of having something at every price point. And that'll be a flat charge, even if I make it out of something like this. Because this here, both of these are actually still big enough to make ice cream scoops out of. But I have a ton of Paduke right now, and I need to get rid of some of it. So I might make a few of these into ring holders just to spice things up. Um, maybe this piece of Purple Heart, because this is a little bit too short. Uh, this piece here, I'm probably going to cut into uh, salt and pepper shakers, because this is going to be two inches long. Not two inches long. It's going to be four and a half inches long, two by two. But these will probably be ring holders here, or they might be more bottle stoppers. I don't know. We'll see. So that's probably going to be all, and uh, I'll pick up the video next time when we start making stuff. See y'all.